Hello, this is the Dame Sin, and today we are going to do one beautiful little painting, and we are going to use Eugene Boudin as an inspiration. So we're using one of his beautiful paintings to uh, paint this tiny little piece. And the original is done with oils, but we are going to use watercolor. So the technique is a little bit different than oil or acrylics but we're still going to attempt this and see what happens. Now, um, Goudin is a very important person in Monet, Claude Monet's life. He was pretty much the person who pushed him into painting. So I feel like without him, probably the, we will not know Monet. So that's a little um, trivia, but I am going to uh, explain what I'm doing here really fast because this video is super short this painting was so easy to paint but we have three parts we have sky we have ocean or water and we have beach it's a low tide which means there is wet parts on the beach so we're gonna have some water on those areas for the ocean i used two different blues a lighter and a darker blue you can use one just use different hues um, of the blue that you have and run your brush from left to right to create that illusion of water for the um, sandy area i am using ochre just ochre super transparent pale ochre and um, I'm running the brush again from side to side. Now, since this um, scene is further away from us, we have very little details. Everything is very vague and um, we don't have to worry about a lot of details on the sand or um, the people that are standing and walking, they're going to be just little shapes. And I'll explain to you how I did this. For the sky, I'm using a darker blue and I am pretty much almost like framing the clouds in the middle. Um, so I have a darker top and then in the middle i will run wet brush and kind of steal some of the paint from the sides and um, do circular motions to create those cloud or spotty looking middle which will look more like clouds and um, pretty much that's the sky it takes seriously two seconds to make this sky for the people what i will do is use the shape of um, let's say these are women walking with umbrellas so they're wearing long dresses or skirts so the skirt is a rectangular shape or a trapezoid it really depends and then you have a little area showing for the uh, torso um, that will be a tiny little rectangle in a brown color or whatever color, color you decide. Don't make them bright, they're too far away. Um, the light is um, not on the back, it's mostly on the front or the side. So don't make those people in lighter colors. Um, now in his painting, there's a lot more people on the beach um, and I kind of simplify it, made it a little bit simple, but it's the idea is there and you can add more people. There is a lot more people, much smaller, tiny little dots like closer to the water or almost looking like they're in the water. Um, we have a few sailboats and some other boats also in the water that are very simple shapes like the sailboats is a triangle for for the uh, sail and then just a tiny little dot or line for the actual boat and uh, we'll add a few more boats here and there like little tiny specks and spots with really not adding details because we're dealing with something so far far away and yeah, so we have one little thing. We have to wait uh, for some of the paint to dry on the um, 
in the blue area in the water and the sky for me to add a little more elements for the sails and for the umbrellas I just made them a um, little whatever color I think this is dirty purple or brown I'm not sure um, just added a little color to kind of represent the umbrellas and I'm gonna take some of that away so you're gonna see more of a outline and a few little children so again these are just little tiny shapes representing people and you're leaving a lot to the imagination of whoever is looking at the painting so while I'm waiting for this to dry we need that blue area to be really dry we're gonna add a slight line on the one side and then a few little spots on the back for other ships, boats, whatever it is. But that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it and happy painting. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.